Good afternoon. I'm Thompson Williams with another exclusive report. I'm Thompson Williams, out and about in the frozen tundras of Canada, where I am about to go look and see why it is someone with a disability would need the driveway shovel. Of course, that sounds like an obvious question, but before actually shoveling the driveway, we must discover why indeed it is a necessity that they have the driveways shoveled in the first place. Despite the obvious Canadian geography. How would somebody in a wheelchair accommodate getting through this to get to their local store? Impossible, yet sometimes expected. And when things do snow over, it makes it absolutely impossible for those with disabilities to access regular transit. And with no notice, they need at least 48 hours to call in transit to the door. Impossible on an overnight, and not always even guaranteed if you call a week in advance. Doctor's appointments Special occasions are always at risk. Forty-eight hours. Are you serious? I need formula now. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Thompson Williams, correspondent from the BBC, and I'm just calling you at the Neighbourhood Network because I'm in Canada doing a report on how social aspects are intermingled with the volunteer sector here, and I was just wondering if I could go out and volunteer by doing a few driveways in the... Well, of course, no, I don't have a criminal record. I'm very much respected in uh, the BBBBC, and I'm a... Yes, but... Of course, but... But I wouldn't... But I never... But I could say... My passport says... Well, I understand. Even for the Queen of England. Yes, I understand. No exceptions. Okay, well, not a problem, and your name was... Well, not a problem, Linda. I really, I, I do appreciate your candor and uh, your professionalism, and uh, I look forward to meeting those at the Neighbourhood Network and uh, going out in the field and showing what I can do, and uh, perhaps maybe some training. I, I, I must, uh, I guess, get some training for the driveway uh, shoveling. I... No training. Okay, well, uh, not a problem. Not a problem. I look forward to it, and I'm, I'm... I really look forward to uh, getting out there and discovering how volunteering mixes with Canadian society and how it actually helps those that are uh, perhaps in, with disabilities to access their communities by little things like even having your driveway shuffled so you could even get to a store or to an appointment or even to a bus stop. It's very, very fascinating that they have to actually rely on volunteers, I find. Yes, I understand you're busy. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Linda. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon, sweetie. Bye-bye. Can't wait. Can't wait. Mm. Maybe the head network. 
It's really a lot of fun. All the chair, but never from the book. Lots of fun. Ugh. Ugh. And the baby is being fed in a very, very uh, interesting fashion. Uh, Dan's standing by, but he's within arm length, standing so that by. if any emergency <laughs> does come up, he's right there, standing by, doing some sit-down comedy. As Mum does her ritual of nourishing baby. These and other exciting stories coming up tonight at 6. Back to you, Floyd. Ah, oh, look at the baby. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Oh.